Hey guys, it's Paulo Haddad here and in this video I'm gonna uh, tell you that we are going to start a new tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can control OpenDSS using Python. Uh, so I have created a Python package called PyDSS interface in which basically uh, we can use to control the direct DLL version of OpenDSS. So I have this package since I guess middle of last year. Uh, we have more uh, than 2000 downloads. I uh, have a, let's go to the computer. I'll show you just a second. Uh, so here you can see that we have uh, the package let's see let's see here we have a pydss interface version 100 uh this version uh it's uh, the updated version from 010 and we have changed a lot of things i'd like to thank you thank you uh the guys that helped me uh enu and hodolf uh, without them i would not be able to have the package organized in the way it is right now and with all the tests we have so this is the package we are going to use to control open dss um i have already a bunch of um videos but all of them um are in portuguese so if you want to have a you know uh if you want to try that out, you can go there and watch in Portuguese and see if you can understand. I have also uh, some, if you go to GitHub, if you, if you go to that, uh, let's see if I can find it better. Yeah, so my GitHub here, you're going to see that I have some uh, examples. You can go to this one here. Uh, N E P S E L Python Open DSS. So I have a, a, a code that basically uses PyDSS interface. Uh, we have also uh, tutorial files. You can go to past day. Uh, this is uh, uh, an example that I use it. Uh, and also live uh, GMASP. This is another example that I have used it. So this, this is a uh, uh, the package that we are going to use in this tutorial. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Python and all the things that really matters that nobody tells us which Python we are using, how to deal with the, the package, which version do I need to use and how I know the version I'm using that specific project. And then and the, after that, I'm going to uh, show you in another video how to install um, PyCharm and how you can use PyCharm, which is uh, an integrated in development environment uh, that help us do a lot of things um, and uh, how we can use that to help us to do more things uh, with Python. So, and, and then after that, we're going to start doing uh, our examples using PyDSS interface. Okay, uh, if you are enjoying the content I'm creating in English, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you'll be notified as soon as I upload any new video. Uh, that's all I have for this video, guys. I'm so excited to start this new journey with you and I hope to see you in the next video.